Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a keycard locking mechanism in Minecraft. So all it is, is our hopper, that is sort of our input hopper, so if we throw our keycard in here, you can see that it'll plop up on top here. We can enter our room full of all of our most valuable possessions, and then behind us a door will close, and whenever we want to leave, there's a button in here we can press, and head out. And the redstone underneath is fairly simple, just some wires, a uh, a item detector over here, or an item sorter, a dropper chain to put it back up, and a pulse extender out this side. So let's show you the materials you're going to need to build this machine. You'll need two repeaters, six comparators, 26 dust, a target block, a observer, a button, 41 items named filter, or something else that is not going to be put into the machine. Usually you would have an anvil um, to name these something else. You'll need four hoppers, four sticky pistons, ten slabs, two droppers, and three torches, as well as at least four book and quills. You may need much more than that, depending on how many cards you want to have. So the first step is to go ahead and make your keycard book. So with one of your book and quills, you can go ahead and just type something in this space right here. It really doesn't matter. Let's just type, this is a keycard, period. And then you want to sign it and call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it keycard again. And any other book that anyone else makes um, will not work. It'll only be this particular book. If we sign it, and there we go, we have our original. So you want to keep the original one um, in a safe, secure location, because what you're going to want to go ahead and do is put it in a crafting bench, and you're going to want to make at least three copies. So these copies, as you can see, are stackable, and they'll only stack if it is a copy of this very original book. So as long as you're the only person who can copy this key bar, or this key card, um, nobody else can sort of duplicate your key cards and make it into your secure vault. So wherever you're going to have the floor of your doorway at is going to need to be three blocks above the ground, or you're going to build your redstone three blocks into the ground. So I'm just letting you know, you're going to need about this much space right here. Now go ahead and place, uh, break this middle block here, place a hopper down facing into the side of one of these blocks, and then to the same side, we're going to place down two more hoppers directly underneath it. Now go ahead, and behind this hopper, we're going to place three solid blocks out the side, one in the back, one right here, so you get this shape right here. We're going to place a comparator out of the back, and we're going to put redstone dust on these three blocks here. Peter set to one tick, and then a redstone torch right here. Now, in this hopper right here, we're going to place down one of our copies of our original book, and we're going to place down our filter items like so. Now, in the hopper underneath our filter hopper, which is this one, we're going to go ahead and place down one more um, keycard copy, and so you'll need two in this mechanism, and then you can keep the other one to actually access your door. Now we're going to leave a one block space right here, head out one more block to the side where this hopper is facing, and place a block right here. Then place two droppers facing upwards into each other, like so. We're going to place around like a four by four, or a two by two space right here. We're going to place down a comparator facing out of it, into a block, into some dust. Then we're going to grab our repeater, and or our observer rather, and go ahead and face it into that dust right there. Then we're going to place a block right here, and we're going to place some redstone dust on top of that block right there. Now go ahead and extend out your little floor, just so this um, spot that is directly above the dropper chain is fully surrounded in solid blocks like so. And now go ahead and connect up our hoppers to our dropper chain here by placing one hopper right here. Now you should see is if we go ahead and place our keycard into here, that the keycard will actually, or the copy of our original keycard, will come up here and we can actually take an output out of that to open up a door. So you can make whatever door you like. I'm just going to make a little example door. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is head to this side where our dropper chain is, place down three blocks like so, go ahead and then place down two temporary blocks to the side here, and then place down one more on each side, and then place down your sticky pistons on these sort of wing areas right here. And then you can place down some blocks here and here, as well as some in the middle like so. And then you can just make some blocks on the top to make a little um, sort of roof for our door section here. Now, underneath our design here, we're going to place a solid block right here. So our, con uh, our comparator is facing out of this dropper into this block into a repeater set to four ticks. And then make sure that's facing into a target block like so. Then place one block to the left if you're facing this way. And then go ahead and place down a three by two sort of rectangle right here. Now go ahead and place down comparators facing forward here and then facing backwards here and place down redstone dust here, here, and here. Now grab your redstone torches, place one on this target block here, and one on the side of this block right here. And then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is on this block and this block, we're going to want to place slabs, and we're going to want to create a little slab chain 
um, that goes down to the bottom here. So just do this on both sides. We're going to place down blocks here. It's kind of difficult. I might go up to the bottom. I think it's a little easier that way. And we get something that sort of looks like this, maybe. There we go. Just a few more. And there we go. We have this slab chain. We're going to place down redstone dust on it and connect it to this torch right here. And do the same thing for this torch on the other side. And then this slab right here. There we go. Everything is connected here. And you can see our door is closed on this side. So obviously you can place blocks around the side. Cover up all the redstone. You can even place blocks inside here when you're going to make your room. And you can see that if we are to get on top of here and drop our keycard in, again, this is the copy of original. This is the only one that's actually going to work. The actual original keycard you should keep in a secure spot. We're going to toss in the hopper. It'll uh, fly up. We'll see the doors open for a period of time. We can walk through our door, and then the door will close behind us. Now I've just gone ahead and made a little platform in here. You can do whatever you want. Obviously, this could be an entrance to a huge build or whatever you want to do, or a farm, or a sort of storage location. Um, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is put a button somewhere in your build. Uh, I'm just going to place it right here. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is connect up this button via redstone to this pulse extender right here. So I just put three blocks at the end, connect it to this button, like so. And once we press this button, you'll see that the doors will open and we can exit. So this will be like the outside area where we toss the keycard in. And then this is the inside, where once you're inside, you don't really need your keycard. You can just go ahead and press the button and walk out when you're finished. So that's pretty much all there is to this build. It's a very fun, creative way to sort of uh, add some security to your builds if you're in the fun sort of survival environment or a survivor server with your friends, whatever you want to do. And yeah, you can change around this piston door however you like. You can make like a slime block piston door to make like a giant 9x9 nine nine door that'll just fall down. And then again, you can add whatever build on this side that you want. You could have a giant super smelter, a giant farm, basically anything you ever want to do. But this basic mechanism will sort of help you get a key card system in place. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed or found it informative. And if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like. And you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.